Hello and welcome to this video on site-to-site -site VPN firewall rules versus the local firewall rules. So let us start with the local firewall rules. We'll find that under a network and then to the firewall here. So I have prepared a little bit here so we can see it a little bit easier. As you see here, I have the, uh, allowed everything on the TCP protocol going to any destination and sourcing from any. All right, so let's start testing now. All right, let's try Telnet to this IP here. 216.15.15.15. Four, four, three. And as you see, we get a uh, connection, so the port is open here. Let's interrupt that. All right. Now, as you see here, we have some hits, and these hits are only seen uh, once you log into this page. So you cannot, uh, once you update it, it will not save those hits so if we press firewall here again just to see what happens to those hits so as you see the timers start from the beginning here so that is something that is not so good with uh, Meraki but anyways let's continue let's remove this rule here because we want to deny um, to this Google address here and we have the rule set up. We have also any any, so also ping should be denied, and also the telnet. So let's remove that, delete, save. And one thing to remember is that the rules will not be applied directly. It will take a couple of minutes, and it will not. It's no stateful inspection, so you'll have to restart if you have a flow already running or if you have a ping or something else already running you'll have to restart that flow and then you should get a deny so let us try that actually now you can try telnet as you see it is already denying it and we can see on the hits that it is incrementing so the rule is officially working now you can also try with uh, There, all right, uh, let's try the ping. As you see, no ping allowed at all. So, and I'm sourcing here from VLAN 1, which uh, is where I'm coming from. I am sitting on 128.6, and I'm going to this destination here. As you see, we have a lot of hits here. That is because this is a Google address. So uh, we're getting some default denies. Maybe someone else in my network is also trying to reach that. So now that we verify that, we know that it is working. Also, it is important to know that this rule applied here will not apply to other networks. So the networks, for example, in site one have a default allow. So you'll have to configure them uh, manually for each network. Now there is API calls that you can do from Visual Studio Code which I will I will introduce to you guys in uh, later videos where you can push those, con those configs to multiple networks but uh, yeah from the right now uh, as we speak for Meraki there is no such thing for adding to multiple networks at the same time, you'll have to go to the firewall section and just add them here. As you see, this is totally different. Now that we verified that, there is something else here, and that is the site-to-site -site VPN firewall rules. And that is a organization-wide setting, meaning it will apply to every network in the uh, organization. So you'll have to be careful when 
editing those rules. These rules will not apply for for destinations going to the internet, but if they go to other sites, for example, to uh, to a VPN site-to-site uh, -site, uh, spoke or hub, then that will be affected here. All right, now let's add something here. Um, yeah, let's see first if we have enabled the VPN on these. Let's see. Uh, let's scroll up here. Okay, uh, we only need this enabled because we're going to ping this destination from the Luminate network. So go back to Luminate. And then here on the site to site VPN, we'll have to enable this one because right now I'm sitting on the default VLAN one. So we'll have to enable this VLAN so that the other uh, spoke knows about my network. Let's do that. Okay, all right. So uh, basically I cannot enable it because the other site is also sitting on 128. Even though it is not enabled on on VPN, you cannot have them uh, sitting on the same network if you enable one of them. So I'll have to actually move one, one of them to a to another to another subnet. That's, that can be fixed pretty quickly here on addressing a VLANs. And here. Let's see, we can pick 129. 129. And enable. Save. Pretty sure I changed that. Though. The IP address of does not apply to any configured. Mm -hmm. We already have some firewall rules here. I think I have to remove this one first. As you see, I can't even create a new subnet if a firewall rule is tied to it. So I'll have to remove that. Let's go back, Let's see now. Let's do this. 129, 129, and there we go. <coughs> Great, so that was the issue. I had some firewall rules on the 128, so now when I removed it, I can successfully save it. So let us go to the Illuminate network here. And let's activate the VPN. Okay. Great, so ch changes saved. Now we'll ping the other uh, side, so the site one from uh, Luminet. So my computer is sitting on this network here. And we can see the other side, uh, or the other MX uh, subnet here on the route table. We will ping that IP address. I'm being too fast here. As you see, we can see it on Auto VPN or Meraki VPN. Now, let us ping it. Do 
Do I still have some rules left here or? Let's see. Let's remove this. It shouldn't affect the uh, auto VPN rules, but can remove it anyways as we are here. Let's see. Okay, let me see if I can ping uh, from the MX itself here. I will initiate from VLAN 1. So that is working from VLAN 10. Why is that not working from VLAN 1 though? Do we have something? Okay. I think uh, we can try it from VLAN 10 instead because I'm actually, I have connected this MX to my Illuminat MX. So they are not on a separate network. So this is on the VLAN 1 anyways. So just to not confuse ourselves, let us initiate from VLAN 10 instead. As you see on this uh, New York MX here, the other side is connected to the port 4. So it is getting a range of 128 type uh, 64. So I think that might be uh, an issue. So I'll just initiate from VLAN 10. Yeah. Let's go. There. All right. One millisecond. Now let's go back to the organization wide firewall rules for the auto VPN. Right down here we have uh, the rules. All right, deny to site one. Okay, let's just pick uh, source will be you not. Know let's just pick any source right now. Do we have a specific? Right, let's pick VLAN 10 and towards the next destination was 120, no, 10, 1.1 slash, let's pick the whole range. Right. Let's save that. All right, so now we're denying from our VLAN 10 here on Luminet to destination uh, 10.127.1.0 slash 24 on protocol ICMP version 4. So Let's try that from the appliance status now. Let's try a ping. It should be denied. A loss rate of 100%. Let's verify that here. Let's see if I have the correct IP address inserted there on the rule. Yeah, well, that was sort of the wrong rule. Let's go back. So that's not correct. Let's go back. Let's uh, edit. Guest. Finish editing and save changes. 
All right, let's try it now again. And from VLAN 10, Okay, so this is the network I just denied to reach the other side on ping. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Let's go back and see. Maybe now VLAN 10. Great. So, as we can see now, we get a loss rate 100%, meaning we're getting a deny from the uh, rule that we just applied. I just want to go back to that rule and see if we can see some live hits. If we go to side to side VPN. And down here, let's see. Uh, actions. Let's see, let's do a. Let's see. And mark that syslog button. Let's see if that will make it. Uh, if we can see hits or not. No, no hits. But uh, as we see, it is working. I think I also denied VLAN 11 as I did a slash 24 mask. Oh, nope, I did not. Oh, the VPN is not enabled on this one. So let's enable uh, VLAN 11. So now what we have done basically is we, we denied source VLAN 10 to reach 10 10.127.1.0 slash 24 and then we this one should be allowed but it was not enabled on auto VPN so let's enable it now and try again let's go apply status alright let's go back and you should ping it from VLAN 11 now there now if we try from VLAN 10, it should not work. And we'll get a 100% loss rate there. So as you see, this is how you deny uh, on auto VPN pairs. Remember that these rules will apply to the whole organization. So you'll have to be careful when you apply those rules. So let us just remove that rule so you can see that they will now be allowed access. So let's remove that. Bulk delete. All right. Now ping from VLAN 10. And there we go. So it's working. And this is what I wanted to show you. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions to Meraki. Thank you again. Bye.